Shouts out to Dumbest Live News. That's that nigga, man. Hey. What's up, fams? We got to talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button and shout out to my gang. Gang, gang. Trippy, don't go switching sides. You're switching sides. <laughs> now, listen, gang, we got to talk about this. Now, now I've told this story like 10 times before, so I'm not going to go fully into it. But now, remember the whole storyline between Trippy Red and 6 9 and X? When it was like this big beef that was going down and all that. And I told you guys that X told me that he had audio of Daniel Bergoling admitting that she got with Trippy Red. Now, there was a time where Trippy Red pissed X off. You know, X, of course, he was on his peace and positivity vibe, but Trippy just kept messing with him, messing with him, messing with him. Now, there was a time where Trippy, out of nowhere, he called out X for his past case with Geneva and tried to use that against him. Now, if you guys remember, X released a positive video and he was like warning Trippy Red that he has skeletons and it was some things that he probably didn't want out. So he should chill. You guys remember that? Now, before he released that video there, days before, when everything was going down, he told me that he had audio of Daniel Bergoli admitting that Trippy Red got the cheeks. And he wanted to release the audio of her admitting that through me. Now, the reason I was never released is because, of course, X ended up dropping a positive video and he was trying to stay on his positive vibes, which I told him, like, look, bro, just stay positive. Now, Danielle Bregoli is coming at Trippy Red. She did an interview with No Jumper. Shout out to Adam. And she said Trippy Red is fake and also some other stuff. You guys watch this. I'll unpack that after this. What? But do you and Trippy, did you have a I friendship don't, I don't, I don't leading know, up to this? I don't want to talk about this next. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Okay, but do you do you ever see yourself being on good terms with him again? No! <laughs> Trippy Red is fake! Tell him I said it! Trippy Red, you are fake! What is fake about him? The man pretending like pretending like he's cool, but we're not cool. But the whole ex shit, that's dumb. You're stupid as hell. That man had a lot of fucking nerve putting Quavo on that song, knowing damn well the shit that happened between ex and amigos. How fucking dare you? As soon as you was talking big shit about the fucking man. The man, okay, listen. Me and X, we fought about, of course we fought about this. The X told 6 9 that shit. X got mad, got in his fucking feelings, and told 6 9 that. Told, X was told, an emotional, emotional, emotional person. But X told 6 9 that you and Trippy had previously had something going on? Yes. And was that a lie? Of course it's a fucking lie. Okay. Fuck, what? I'm a journalist. Listen, had to ask. Listen, let me tell you something. Okay. Tell you something. I don't have time for these dudes. I'm over it. I'm over all their shit. They're fucking weird. They're fucking drug addicts. They're psychotic. They're controlling. The fuck I look like, bitch, I got a career to take care of. I, and half of them have issues, mentally have fucking issues. They're stupid. Mm. They, they need a mom in their life. Trippy Red got them bad baby cheeks. But second, I feel that she has to be very careful with what she's saying. When she's going through her beef with Trippy Red, but she's also pulling X in it. Like, you got to be careful with that type of stuff, right? Now, maybe she had a conversation with X about how he felt about Quavo. And maybe she knows whether or not if X would have wanted to be on a song with Quavo. Here's the thing. That's not the conversation that I had with X. So I can't answer that question or not of whether he wanted Quavo to be on his song. I'm not one of those people that's going to sit here and pretend that I knew 100% about X because here's the thing. X was very emotional and complicated, okay? Once X got on that positive vibe, he cut off a lot of negative people. The people that he was speaking to before that were probably concerned with a lot of drama that he was going through. Maybe they wanted to speak about that stuff. He cut those people off because he didn't want to speak about that stuff. It got to a certain point where he knew for him to be positive, he had to stop dwelling on all the negative stuff 
that was going on. Listen, I've had good talks with X and I know how he feels about certain situations and certain people. But if a subject ever comes up and I don't know, I'm not going to be like, yo, man, X felt this way. Oh, I, I knew 100 percent. I feel that is so disrespectful for anyone out there to put words in the dead's mouth. It's just, it, it's so disrespectful. And and I got too much love for X to even lie about something like that. So regards to whether or not he wanted to be on a song with Quavo, I don't know. Maybe Bad Baby spoke to him about that. But if Trippy Red knew that X did not want to be on a song with Quavo and he did that, yeah, that is definitely some snake stuff. And I'll tell you guys what I do. If I don't know something about X and there's something that I wanted to ask him and I didn't get the chance to do it, you know what I do? I go and I speak to other people that were close to him as well. And I ask those questions. I spoke to someone that was maybe one of the closest of the closest. And I asked some things like, yo, how did he feel about, you know, religion or this or that? Where was his mindset when he was like this age? Da, 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 da. Like, those are some things that I asked that person. Yeah, me and X, we had conversations on religion before, but. I wanted to get more information. So I got the information from people that were very close to him. And I feel that that's what we should be doing in situations like this. And I hope there's no one out there that's putting words in his mouth, claiming that he would have wanted this and wanted that without them even knowing. It makes me sick just thinking that it's possibly people out there doing that. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Thanks for rocking with me. I love you guys.